In our last tutorial, we were in the View Menu File Manager, and we learned how to look at our library and see what was installed, etc., etc. And in this video, we're going to talk about live packs. What's a live pack? Command comma gets me the Preferences menu, and I'm going to stick that up there. And under the Library tab, Live Pack. Hmm. But also Analog Collision tensions, uh, sampler, what's going on? There is a direct correlation between live packs and almost everything within Live's library. So here's something that you can do outside of the course of this video. This Solid Sounds um, is a third-party live pack. The reason I know that is because I got to it by saying search for live packs and I went right to the Ableton website, downloaded it to my desktop, and then I installed it. So the other trick is, is that there are plenty of live packs all over the internet, and you might want to just experiment with grabbing a few of these. And we can install them in a couple of ways. I've built a folder on my desktop that is filled with live packs. So I'm going to close this. And I can do two things. I can say File, Install Live Pack. And there I have right on the desktop a number of live packs, inc including the Solid Sounds one that you just saw up in my installation. Now, there's another couple of three ways to install live packs, but we are going to be talking about these live packs the whole time. So I just want to go real easy. The fact is, is that some of these are going to install into my library without any problem. Others are not going to install into my library unless I do a couple of special fancy moves. So remember, if we install something in our library, it's going to be available to every single song. Okay. So why don't I just go right here, modular patterns for live. This comes from a site called Pure Magnetic, which I have been a subscriber to for a while. And it's pretty cool. They make good stuff. So let's try installing it. I have just got it selected. I'm just going to say open. And I have this dialog here. It basically tells me I'm about ready to put this directly into your library. Are you good with that? And I'm going to say yes. And the other catch is that every other live pack that you try to do this with is not going to go directly into your library. If that live pack has a project in it, um, this dialog and the installer within Ableton will reject it. But that's for another day. I will show you how to get around that new problem when we get to file management. So we can see that this Pure Magnetic is installing. And I'm going to wait till it comes up. And then I'm going to show you where it is in a different sort of way. The first thing we did was we saw up in the live preferences, come on, man. Okay. You're done now. Okay. Thanks for telling me, Bob. I'm going to go up to live preferences, go here, go back to my live packs and see if this is now in my folder. It better be. I'll tell you what. Right there. Pure magnetic. Now, you'll notice that if you uh, install a live pack and you go, oh, that is gank, that sucks, bam, uninstall, no problem. All right, so how do I find out where that went? I can use the browser, and what I'm going to do is just go to my regular hard drive. My user is me, and I'm going to go to my library. Let's open this up. Application Support, Ableton. And there is my 801 library. Why don't I just, to make it easier, I'm going to say Show in Finder. And there's my location. And right within the live library is now a third-party folder under samples called Pure Magnetic Modular Patterns. And there's samples and ASD files, which are um, analysis files that live creates. Okay, so that is installing live packs and finding out where they live on your drives.